Check, check. Check, one, two, check. Colin and Samir came to town. When I first stumbled across Colin and Samir, I was blown away. They can tell a really, really killer story. These guys make awesome videos and they inspire me big time. They run a YouTube channel called Simple Enough. Colin and Samir. Colin and Samir. Colin and Samir. Maybe you've heard of them. Colin and Samir, definitely recommend checking them out. There are other YouTubers if you don't know who they are. Or they've also been described as news anchors, but like cool. You guys are news anchors that I would want to like continue to go back and get like the inside scoop on the internet. And now they have a podcast, and so I've been binging that. They talk about a lot of different things, and I just love their personalities. I don't think I've ever told this story on record. Exclusive! Oh, exclusive. dude, exclusive on the Colin Samir podcast! <laughs> Here is an email from Colin and Samir. Hey, Tobias. Thanks for the email. We're free for a quick Skype in about an hour. Oh, my fetch. Like, so let's take a step back and, and kind of how we got there, how you guys ended up meeting. Uh, where do you guys want to start the story? Where, where should we begin? So it all started here in Santa Monica, 1989. Nah, that's too far <laughs> back. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, that'd be cool because then we could do like a little like voiceover music and then... <laughs> So we've been uploading to this channel for over two years now, and we realized we've never actually told you our story. Because we've actually been making videos on YouTube for almost seven years, right? Yeah, seven, seven years. Seven now? So now at the beginning of this year, we figured we should start by telling you our full story from the beginning. And in the beginning, really, I'm not even there. It starts with Samir. All right. So here's our story from the beginning. In 2012, I had just graduated college, and I had this idea for a sports network. I started making videos and posting them to YouTube, and I called it the Lacrosse Network. What's up, guys? It's Samir from the Lacrosse Network. At the same time, Colin was making videos about lacrosse in Colorado. So I watched some of his videos, and six months later, I convinced him to move to Los Angeles. It's Samir from the Lacrosse Network. I'm here with one of the newest members of Team TLN, Colin Rosenblum. And this was the beginning of a long and unexpected journey. The next two years were crazy. Hello! With Colin in Los Angeles, we started to build the network. Oh, we are recording. We were doing live games. Welcome to the lacrosse networks. This is Samir Chaudhry. Highlights, news shows. Breaking news in the college lacrosse world today. Documentaries and giveaway shows. Welcome to our first installment of Free Stuff Friday. Which was actually the first time that Colin and I were on camera together. We hit 4,000 subscribers. We made SportsCenter top 10 plays. We hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. There were a lot of ups and downs, but we really loved making videos. So we just kept uploading. And after two years, we were sitting there trying to figure out how we were going to make a living doing this. We've been getting calls from all kinds of different MCNs. Hey, yep. we want to do a channel yep, partnership. Yep, 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 you guys yep. are growing. You guys are in sports. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whatever. And, and finally, um, we get a call from a company called Whistle Sports. Hello? Sports digital video is still very much dominated by the mainstream outlets, ESPN, Fox, but you guys are staking out some territory. Tell me about what you're trying to claim as yours. We felt when we started Whistle Sports uh, about five years ago that young millennials uh, had very different habits for consuming media. It was a company in New York that wanted to acquire our network and hire us. So we went from a cockroach infested warehouse. Probably the biggest cockroach I've ever seen in my life. To an office on the beach. Our company grew a ton, and so did our audience. We signed autographs, took selfies, and ended up on national TV. Questions. We made it. We traveled all over the country and worked with major brands and athletes, helping them tell their stories. Most importantly, we had stable jobs doing what we loved, but something was missing. A lot of times when you're at a company, you can look at something and say, this is 80% or 90% what I want to do. Not oftentimes do you have the opportunity or are willing to take the risk to say, could I be 100% happy? Could I be 100% doing what I want to do? And I think when I looked at that situation, I was like, if this is 95%, there's an opportunity to go to 100. Let's try it. Yeah. Don't wait for it to happen. Just, just, you just do it. That's fair. That's good advice. It's a lot harder and it's a lot scarier, but it's yeah. the only way to stay ahead. Nice yeah. to meet you. Good nice luck. to meet you. Good yeah. luck. Thanks a lot. So we left stable jobs in search of that final 5%.
And that brings us up to two years ago when we started a new company and started a new channel, all with the goal of becoming filmmakers. Like taking films to film festivals, winning Oscars, going to Sundance, just like the whole filmmaker thing. The whole like entourage thing. Yeah, you know? I mean, you, if you grew up watching Entourage, then you know what we're talking you about. You get it. That's the thing we're trying to do. Entourage. <laughs> kind of, not really, <laughs> sort of. And with the new channel, we started telling new stories. And for the past two years, we've had some incredible experiences. All right, now pretend it's a picture. Okay. Right. Will Smith celebrated his 50th birthday by becoming a daredevil. He bungee jumped out of a helicopter near a YouTube live stream. The first time ever in history, someone like Will Smith is actually reachable. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Happy birthday, man. That was ridiculous. We were at his 50th birthday. That was crazy. Happy birthday! That was insane. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. And Amar jumped out of a helicopter. They just landed. Once they arrive, Amar's gonna go up and jump. Oh my god, dude! That also didn't make any sense. We didn't even know those guys two years ago. Yeah, a lot's happened and we met a lot of incredible people. So me growing up in New Jersey and Samir here in Los Angeles, we could have never imagined where our lives would take us. Making the decision to make videos and share our stories has changed our lives drastically for the better. The first video that I ever put out had less than a thousand views, but one of those views was Samir. That one view has led to all types of crazy experiences and to us meeting all types of people. So we met the way that we still meet most people today through making videos and telling stories. Oh my hey, goodness. What's up, Dubai? Do it. Where in the this. world are you? I am in snowy London at the moment. Where are you guys at the moment? Right now we're in Austin, Texas. We've spent the week here at the South by Southwest Festival. And checking out some films. Hopefully next year we'll have a film. Okay. That's what we're thinking about, man. It's, uh, it's a big goal of ours. It's awesome. a goal of ours, so we just want to put it out there in the universe. Where yeah. are you guys heading? I think, uh, where we're heading is making the world smaller uh, for us. And what I mean by that is connecting with people like you. I think our goal with our videos is to inspire other people to create, whether that's you know picking up a camera for the first time and putting themselves on camera or just pursuing an idea that they always had. Yeah. Um, that's absolutely our goal. So as we create more, and you know, we want to make documentaries and make films and mm. um, pursue our own creativity, but along that, uh, path. We want to inspire others to do the same. So we wanted to make this video for two reasons. One, to tell you our story so far and bring you up to speed, but also to tell you what you can expect on this channel moving forward. We're going to be telling a lot more of our stories, stories about creators. Stefan is going to tell his story. Let's cut to that camera. Stories about YouTube. Welcome to the breakdown. And stories about us as we're on this journey of becoming filmmakers. Taking films to film festivals, winning Oscars, Entourage. Yeah. <laughs> Entourage. Entourage. All right, so hopefully that gave you some more context on our story and what we're doing here in Los Angeles and just with this YouTube channel in general. You can follow along with us on Instagram, Twitter, by signing up for our email newsletter, or by listening to our podcast, which comes out every single Monday. All right, that's it. That is it. That is everything that up is to this point. We've caught you up. All right, peace.